Hi everyone, thank you for joining me, Amber Bach, for my week 6 presentation on taxes and economic efficiency for MPA 585. I will begin by discussing the three different types of taxes, income tax, sales tax, and property tax, along with economic efficiency. On the left, I have a photo to represent the income tax, which is a progressive tax meaning that there are lower taxes for lower income earners. It is based on one's ability to pay, so tax liability increases as wealth increases. In the middle, I have a photo representing sales tax, and then on the right, a photo representing property taxes, and these are both considered regressive taxes, meaning that the tax rate decreases as the amount subject to taxation increases. Uh, this is affects the um, lower income earners at a higher degree. Economic efficiency, it is when the economy is absent of market failure and will automatically allocate resources properly. And uh, economists believe that uh, distortionary income, which essentially all taxes, or I'm sorry, not distortionary income, distortionary taxation, um, is essentially all taxes. Um, so income, sales, property, they're all considered uh, distortionary taxes, and they are inefficient in a sense because uh, the government could replace them. According to um, Stiglitz and Rosengard, they could replace them with lump sum tax, which would raise revenue. Um, with the same effect on the welfare of individuals or the government could raise the same revenue and increase the welfare on individuals and I'll discuss distortionary effects in my next slide so I know in my previous slide I said that distortionary taxation is considered to be inefficient however uh, distortionary effects of taxation can also be efficient uh, because three of the distortionary taxes are considered corrective taxes and those are meant to correct market failure and um, also for um, externalities so the gas tax chemical tax and alcohol tax are all corrective taxes the gas tax was meant to um, prevent automobile usage and promote uh, public transportation to help the environment and pollution. The chemical tax was meant to um, enforce chemical companies and uh, to dispose of toxic um, waste environmentally friendly in environmentally friendly ways. And then the alcohol tax was meant to decrease alcohol consumption. Uh, so by raising the price, it was supposed to um, decrease the sales. And then um, two other ones we have, uh, one that falls under uh, income is the estate tax, which is represented by that will in that left corner. And the estate tax was essentially meant to uh, prevent uh, tax-free wealth for affluent families just to continue to be passed down. So uh, it was to promote um, spending of money to uh, continue to circulate in the economy and arguably to uh, discourage saving, I guess, uh, when you're up in that type of wealth. And then the bottom right, that's meant to represent the property, uh, type of property tax of the window tax, which was interesting. I had not heard of this until reading it in the book, um, of the, in seven, in the, in the 1700s when, uh, the king actually wanted to implement a, an income tax, but it was very taboo back then. No one wanted to disclose their income. So a, I guess you could say creative way was by implementing the window tax so the more windows you had the more you had to pay so people started to uh, place bricks over their windows uh, so they would not have to pay um, more money and there are still some buildings today that um, don't have windows due to this and then uh, the political spectrum and um, taxation so if you are on the left side or socialist leaning democratic uh, you believe in um, higher taxes because you want um, the government to spend it on social programs and programs for um, homeless uh, welfare stuff like that and also 
you agree with Keynesian economics, meaning that uh, when the government uh, funds programs, these programs will push money into the economy. And then if you're more leaning to the right or you're conservative, Republican, whatever you want to say, um, you are in favor of less taxes uh, because you want more disposable income to circulate through the economy. So it's just two different views of how to get money to circulate through the economy. And I just wanted to end by saying thank you. And with this Benjamin Franklin quote of, in this world, nothing can be said to be certain except death and taxes.